Welcome back. Continuing our focus on that big election that happened yesterday and the results, uh, which also got our own uh, Amaji Pedic in CAF Executive Committee. Well, we're going now to South Africa, where we've got Ida Pitisai standing by to give us his perspective, what he thinks of that election. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. How did South Africa respond, or how did you receive that news yesterday of the victory? Assembling was beautiful. It was beautiful because we have um, uh, tried to remove Hayati for years, I'm telling you. Um, Hayati has been there forever, and uh, we got to a point where we needed change. You know, for over 12 years, I've been advocating that we needed somebody new with a new idea and new things happening in our football. Uh, wonderful to yesterday, I was just elated. I was excited that change has finally come. But my challenge, my challenge is I made a man. You know, because the seat is occupying is quite different from um, being the president of uh, Madagascar. Madagascar is just a tiny country. The politics is not as huge as it is in um, in Africa, and um, he needs to know what he's into. This is football is a, is the is the breath of Africa, and um, no one will take um, failures from him, especially with the people around him. And uh, we hope that it's not a puppet. That's the fear. Hayatu was a strong man. He was a strong man in Africa. We hope this man knows what he's doing. He wants to take our football forward. That's our prayer. Do we take solace in the fact that he's been head of Malagasta FA since, I think, 2003? Wouldn't he bring some experience to bear with that position? Well, it's, it's like being a, a, a mayor, a mayor of Port Harcourt. A mayor of Port Harcourt, and the next day you are elected president of Nigeria. He's huge. The, the problems are absolutely different. He's been running Madagascar football for, for, for close to 14 years now. But it's, it's, it's a different ballgame. There are no finances. I remember some years ago he wanted to, he wanted to um, uh, organize some events in Madagascar. And he was looking for $5,000. $5,000 to <laughs> organize an event in Madagascar. Now we're talking about being in charge of billions and billions of, of dollars. How does he manage it? You know, with the pressure, pressure coming from different angles. And you have hot heads now. We don't just have the yes men, uh, people running CAF. You have the people at Pinique that are very ambitious. That I think one day is going to be president of CAF for me. And there are a lot of people there that are very hot headed that, that one thing's done. Does he have the capacity to carry African football? That's the biggest fear I have for half our men. What do you then think that uh, this will bring? to Nigerian football? A massive, massive, massive. You remember when Emo Sadamu was there? Unfortunately for me, I, I was involved with the Nigerian Football Federation there. That was the season where I played for the Super Eagles. Uh, Adamu, Adamu brought a whole lot of things for, for, for Nigerian football. Uh, our referees, when was the last time we saw any referee officiating in any big uh, uh, tournaments? When you have people that take make decisions, they begin to it begins to filter into your federation. Abdamu did so well for Nigerian, uh, Nigerian football. We had Orok Orok at that time. Orok Orok was a little bit uh, old, you know, being in the in the in the calf in the calf committee. Uh, but but it's it's huge for us. It, it's huge for us. And again, the thing about uh, Amadu, the benefit that we have about Amadu is that he has dreams. He knows what he's looking for in life. You remember the squabbles between the minister and Amadju, and Amadju stood his ground because change was inevitable. These are the kind of people you want to run the game. It will benefit a lot of us. You know, I'm a, I'm a legend in African football now by the grace of God that most of us have been have been locked out of the running of football in Africa. It, it had to do with a specific group of people and that group of people have been there for years and for years and for years. There has to be a cleanup. A lot of people are saying, uh, let's hire to be. No, no, no. We don't let him be. We need to find out where the monies are. We need to find out how the monies have been spent. Then they need to spread the funds. There are, there are countries that are struggling to participate in CAF competitions. But you see, you, you need to spread the wealth so that countries can begin to do a lot of things with money that is coming in. There are deals that um, hire to sign. You know, with the Lacadere deal, he signed 12 years with the television station. Who does that kind of thing? You sign three years, four years, and as the years go on, the, the price will begin to increase. 
So a lot of things that he didn't do right, and we expect that since Ahmad Ahmad has come in, there will be a lot of changes. It's it's also expected that um, uh, Hayatu will be facing a pro panel of sorts. Uh, what do you make of that? that? That's the right thing. That's the right thing. You have to be accountable. We are fighting corruption in Nigeria. Corruption is a is a plague that needs to be fought everywhere around the world. All we just ask, we've not said he's stolen money. We just say, show us the books. Show us the books and how you've expended the monies. We hear that a lot of money is in the CAF accounts. Monies are not supposed to be kept in the bank. They're supposed to be utilized. And that's the biggest uh, uh, um, issue we've had. Every president of an FA that you've spoken to, they will always tell you how Hayatu has muscled them. Hayatu, even in meetings, when it says a word, everyone shuts down. That's not what we need, how to progress and run African football. We, uh, Gimba, we need people with vision. We don't want people to, you know, uh, to just have programs and have programs. We're tired of programs. What is the way forward? Look at our CAF Champions League. It's, it's nothing to write home about. People can't participate in CAF Champions Leagues because there are no funds. Um, how much do you pay? Just because we put a lot of pressure on him. What, what, what Years we'll ago, they were is, paying um, about not even less we'll than a million this, dollars. Pardon me. We'll, we'll continue this conversation uh, maybe sometime next week because this is huge. We we'll have to expand the horizon. But we appreciate you talking to us this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Thank we'll be back in a moment. Don't go away.